Christmas just keeps getting better and better and better for Eagle fans. First, we double moonwalk the Dallas Cowboys ass. Today, Jordan Howard is back. Yep, the Cowboy, Mr. McLean. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. It's Gary Cooper, asshole. <laughs> 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 Happy trails, Hans. Dallas still stinks. Door by the way, King Ding by here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Do you know what today is? Do you know what today is? And I'm not talking about Victory Monday after the Eagles beat the Cowboys. No, 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 no. I'm talking about Festivus. Today is the Festivus for the rest of us. Now. I'm a big celebrator of Christmas. I love it. I celebrate it. But I also celebrate Festivus, which comes December 23rd. And basically, what, what Festivus, what, what it is, is you're basically, you got to air your grievances to people. You got to find people that you have a problem with and air your grievances with them. So you go up to them, you say, you see somebody, I don't know, somewhere you go, I got a lot of problems with you peoples. And then you tell them what the problem is. Like, Today we were shopping and it's been crazy. I mean, stores are crazy. It is, you can't get out of the parking lots. I, like, I feel like I'm like in the early 90s, 80s because I, I just can't remember people shopping this much. It's insane. And we were trying to finish up and get everything done. And you know, like I'm in Costco and this this lady and this man, they're, they're, they're a little older and they're like, they keep, they keep, trying to be in between two lines. So there's two lines way backed up and they keep trying to switch to which one's fast. And I said to them, so excuse me, I got a lot of problems with you peoples. What do you just pick one line? What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell's wrong with you? Why you walk like that? Just pick a damn line, you know? And then I felt better. I felt better. And that that is the spirit of Festivus. So I have to celebrate Festivus today. With that said, Ain't no time, yo. Now, let's get to business. I love today. I love today. In all seriousness, this is my kind of year. The next 48, 72 hours, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. That's my thing, man. I live for it all year. So, you know, I wasn't even planning on doing this video today. I was going to do my victory celebration video, let it marinate for a few days, and then come back ready for the Giants. Um, but... There's some things we got to talk about. There's some news happening today, and I, and I kind of want to talk about it. Uh, many of you guys have probably heard by now that uh, the Eagles cut Jay Ajayi. Now, they cut Jay Ajayi, and it you know, wasn't really to make room for Jordan Howard because Jordan Howard wasn't on the IR anyways. He was on the 53-man roster. So the Eagles basically cut him because they don't need four running backs. But this is going to open up a roster spot, and I'm hoping maybe Mark K. Michelle will get his chance. I'm hoping Mark and Michelle will get his chance, at least, you know, for a few weeks, you know. Um, and I say a few weeks, assuming that we can win this division. You know what I mean? Um, but Jordan Howard is coming back, and this is a great thing. I, I mean, for whatever reason, the Eagles didn't use J.H.I. Maybe they thought he didn't look healthy or he lost a step. He just he wasn't right. But they really didn't use him. We've seen it. Everybody's been, like, wondering, where is... Uh, Jay Ajayi, and you can't let Boston Scott go. You can't obviously let Miles Sanders go. So you got to either keep four running backs, or you got to let a guy go, and and that's what they did. Um, I love Jay Ajayi. I, I appreciate everything he did with the Eagles, but I think that was the right move. You have to keep three running backs. You need to bring up another wide receiver, and Jordan Howard is back, and I love Jordan Howard. I love Jordan Howard, but I'm going to say this. Jordan Howard is not your number one running back anymore. He is not the featured guy. He is not the guy that should be getting most of the carries or the touches at running back. Now, I know they like they like to rotate these guys in and they spread it out, and that's fine. But Miles Sanders has shown you that 
He has to get as many touches as possible. As many touches as you can get this kid, you got to get it. I, I really think you can't worry and say, oh, he's a he's only a 10 to 15 carry back and do some things on backfield. I think Miles Sanders can carry the load. I think he could be a featured back. And I know that's not really what the Eagles run. And I love having Jordan Howard back, especially in those short, you know, third and short situations, moving the chains, those kind of things. He's going to be great. And, and Jordan Howard is a great back. But Miles Sanders is another level. <laughs> He's another level. Um, I knew, I knew this kid was going to be a good pick. I didn't think he would be so far advanced this late in the year. I did think he would be the starter at the end of the year, but, but not like this. I mean, he is your one true game breaker on this roster and he has to get touches you have to keep feeding him the ball whether through the run through the pass um so i love that jordan howard's back it's great we need him back definitely we need him he's going to help us we're better for having him but i cannot i cannot take away carries or anything from miles sanders you whatever you give miles sanders before jordan howard came back he has to get those amount of carries and touches but you can start giving extra carries and using extra snaps to feed Jordan Howard. And then you got to sprinkle Balsa Scott in there. Uh, this is very, very tough. But um, Jordan Howard is back. This is a great present for us Christmas-wise because, hey, we're getting ready for for the possible playoffs, okay? And if we could get Jordan Howard back, and now you guys have probably heard that, that the Eagles think that Deshaun Jackson could be go good to go in the playoffs. Now, he's not eligible for return until the divisional round, but you get Deshaun Jackson back, okay? So let, let, let's let's play this scenario for a second, okay? Because this is how I see a perfect scenario, and, and, and I'm not overlooking the Giants. I'm just talking about having Deshaun Jackson back, um, but let's say you get in a situation where you win, you win next week, you win, you get in, you you, you host a playoff game. Um, it very well, if if I had to choose somebody to play, I would rather play Seattle first round. I would rather play Seattle because if Seattle wins their division, we would have to go to Seattle. That's too tough. We we have a problem going to Seattle. I think we can, I think we could play them tough and maybe even beat them in Philly. But but in Seattle would be tough. But if you got a situation, let's say you get Seattle in the first round and you win, and then you go to the divisional round, Deshaun Jackson's eligible to return. If he returns and all of a sudden you have a deep threat, this whole offense could look could change. Everything could change. And it would become very scary. The Eagles could be a real scary team if you get him back. And you get him back and then Jordan Howard back, it's a big thing. A perfect scenario for me would be like I said, play Seattle at home in the playoffs and then have San Francisco be the number one seed because they're a brand new team. Garoppolo hasn't played in the playoffs. You never know what you're going to get with a team like that. And I think that if the Eagles went on the road with the playoff experience they have, it, it could be, they, they could pull it out. I really think so. But, it, you know, that that's, that's you know, that's ways away. The point uh, 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 I'm trying to make is that, that Deshaun Jackson may be ready for the second round of playoffs. And if you get him back along with now you're getting Jordan Howard back this week, um, hey, you never know what can happen. Deshaun Jackson changes how defenses play you. He completely changes the whole offense. So that's something to be excited about um, if, if we can get to the playoffs. Now, one thing we got to do is we got we to gotta put the Dallas game behind us. We got to put it behind us. It's over. I'm not even thinking about it anymore. My focus is on the New York Giants. I got my victory celebration and my stogie and I got it all away. Now it's on the New York Giants because you cannot overlook the Giants. They're very capable. They got some good players and you better be ready. You better give them your best. And if the Eagles show up, if they show up the way they showed up against Dallas, they're going to win. But you don't want to overlook the Giants. Giants would love to spoil, um, they would love to spoil our season. I mean, I already heard Bad Dog talking about it. He already did a video about it. He's like, oh, I don't care about the fourth pick. Um, you know, I, I, I'd rather have a sixth pick and beat the Eagles than have the fourth pick and lose. Me personally, I'd rather have the fourth pick. When you have a top 10 pick, okay, those picks are valuable. The fourth pick to the sixth pick is a big difference. So I, I, I'm sorry, I, I would just want the pick, but I'm not a Giant fan, so I don't care. The Giants want this. That's fine. The Eagles have to be ready. If we're ready, if we prepare well, and we take care of business, the Giants should be no problem. But 
you can't overlook them. I mean, they almost beat us a couple weeks ago. Then you had Washington, you know, gave us a tough time. So, you know, these NFC East matches, these division matches are always, always tough. Um, so I expect the Giants best, and the Eagles cannot overlook them. We got to take care of business. But if we do, and we can make the playoffs, um, I think... <laughs> I think we have a good chance to get Deshaun Jackson back if we could get out of the first round. That that would be that would be unbelievable. That that would become very very interesting, uh, especially if Carson continues to play as good he is. To add somebody like Deshaun with that speed, it'd be awesome. But at least for this week, we get Jordan Howard back. That's going to help us a lot, no question about it. Um, the other thing you guys heard is Zach Ertz has been playing with a broken rib. He got he broke his rib yesterday on that play where Carson threw high. He took a hit, and yeah, the Carson threw that high, and that was why he got hit. It kind of left him open. It is what it is, but got to give Ertz a lot of credit. He toughed it out. He came out. He played, and I expect that Ertz is going to play through this pain and through this rip. I, I, I don't expect him to miss any time. Uh, we'll see, but, but shout out to Zach Ertz because he's one tough son of a bitch. You know what I mean? Now, the other thing I want to say real quick before I go is, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this last few weeks and I, I think that you know we've heard so much about Greg Ward and 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 how good he's done for the Eagles but hey you know what he's taking he's making the most of his opportunity but he's a practice squad guy and and we'll get somebody in next year and he, he'll kind of fade away I, I I disagree with that I actually think that I I think Greg Ward should be your starting slot receiver I think you should pencil him and assume that he's your slot receiver right now for next year. Get rid of it's just Nelson because I don't want him to play more snaps for the Eagles. And um, I think Greg Ward could be your future slot wide receiver. Now, if you can go out and get really good outside wide receivers uh, with you know, and Greg Ward could be in the slot, he could flourish. He could be. He could flourish. I I really love. Greg Ward, and I think he's earned a spot on this team next year. He is my starting slot corner. He, he makes plays every week. I, I, I just like this kid more and more, and he plays with a lot of heart. So I wanted to, I wanted to put that out there because I, I know there's been a lot of talk about, you know, what are the Eagles going to do wide receiver. I think Greg Ward, I, I think he's a better slot receiver than on the outside. I would definitely uh, give him a chance to be the starter next year. Obviously, you bring in competition, but I, I would definitely – pencil him to be my starter going into like spring and stuff like that go out get two really good outside wide receivers who have speed and I think I think you may be set at the wide receiver position but shout out to Greg Ward Jr. because he's been a hell of a player hell of a player and I, look I'm excited I'm, I'm so excited about the Eagles winning this game yesterday it was, it was a big win for Carson it was a big win for everybody you heard Brandon Brooks it came to Carson's aid. It was on Bleeding Green Nation. You can read it. He was basically saying, you know, how happy he was for Carson. Nobody has been more scrutinized over every little thing, every single throw. Nobody gets to that more than Carson Wentz, and he's absolutely right. So it's good to see Carson fight through that. And um, I think the tide's turning. I, I think I think people are starting to realize how good Carson Wentz is, and they're and and, and they're understanding that that we got. We got a franchise quarterback, so I just I just wanted to put that out there because I really thought that Brandon Brooks uh, article was very very interesting. Um, it's going to be fun. Like I said, can't overlook the New York Giants. You can't overlook them. Okay, they want to be a spoiler. We got to be ready. But if we are, we're going to win this game. I have no doubt about it. So I'm gonna let you guys go. That's pretty much me signing out. Probably until Thursday, I may do a Christmas, like a Merry Christmas video or something like that. Uh, you know, if I catch Santa in the act or something like that, I'll put it up. But other than that, I'm uh, I'm going to go have a big thing of eggnog, uh, chill out with the family. And, and to me, you know, hey, it, it, Christmas has already started. So it's just the next three days of celebration. Um, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope you guys... Enjoy your time with your family, with your friends. I appreciate it. Respect to everybody out there. Thank you so much. And with that said, I will talk to you guys. I mean, if there's something really crazy happens, breaks, I'll come back in or something like that. Otherwise, uh, you'll probably see another Eagle video from me. Uh, not until Thursday. The next video I do, Eagles, Sixers related, something like that, Thursday. So with that said, take care. Talk to you later. 
and don't pay a ding back.